this is just one of the things that I've kind of noticed when I'm watching uh, uh, how students do their work. And <clears throat> it's that you can sometimes have a complicated algebraic expression. And, uh, and it's one that would be easier to solve by graphing than by actually going through the process of the algebraic steps. But a lot of times students don't know how to use their calculator to do that for them. So um, I've, got, I've got a calculator on here. Uh, I've got to try to remember this. I've got 2x squared times x plus 5. And what I'm going to do is in the y equals part, I'm going to put that uh, 2x squared times x plus 5. So I've got that for my y1, and I'm just going to put the, the other side of the equation for my y2. So 6 minus 8x plus x cubed. Zoom 6 right here is the standard uh, zoom, so that gives me a, you know, a window that I can work with. <clears throat> and I can see that it's all jumbled together, right? So I want to give myself a little better window for this. So I'm going to see, I don't see the name, don't um, need it to be quite so, so wide. So let's try to go from, uh, I didn't really look at it, but we'll try negative 5 to 5. And then for the Y min, I know I, I don't need to get quite down so far. Um, so I'm just going to go from negative 3, and I think I may actually want to go even a little bit higher. We'll try to 15. Take a look at this graph and see if it's any better. I can see here, I'm, I've got two solutions to this, right? So these two points, one right here and one right here, that's where both of these graphs are equal to each other. And that's what our original question says, right? Where is this is A and this is B, it's saying where is A equal to B, right? And so I'm just trying to look at that graphically. Um, so what I want to do then is go, if I go to calc, I have these options. One of them is an intersect. I'm trying to find the intersection of those two graphs. So I'm going to press 5. I've got a cursor on, it's on this graph right now, and it says, uh, it says is this the first curve? It's just asking me. And I, I press enter to say yes. And then it immediately hops up to, to the next curve. Um, and I'll, I'm going to say yes again. That is the second curve. And then it asks me to guess at the intersection point. Well, this is because there are two. And so I'm just going to get closer to one of them. And if I select that one, I get that uh, my x value there is 0.466, essentially. And the y is 0.237. So um, I'll use uh, 0.466. one place where these are equal to each other. And then I'll go ahead and try to find the other one. Because I noticed there were two of them, right? So I'm going to go to calc the intersect again. I'm just going to press enter twice to tell those are the curves I'm using. And then I'm going to move my cursor up to where I know this other intersection point is up here before I press enter. So it finds the other point for me now at um, negative 1.424. Um, so that's it unless I have some other intersection. So I think what I may do is just um, go back to my window and I'm going to go up here to about 30 and just take a look. And it looks like these aren't going to cross. Oh, that's not true. You know what? I can see this is coming down this direction. And this is coming this direction. These guys may meet, again, down here somewhere. Um, let's go ahead and try to find that point. It'd be kind of messy, but it'd be a good thing to go through. So I'm going to go back to my, uh, to my window. And I actually want to drop this way down for this Y min. Let's go, let's try like negative start off with and see if this gives us a, a look. I'm going to have to go a little bit wider. Um, so I'm going to go this direction more. So for my x min, I'm going to change that back to negative 10. 
And I'm actually going to come lower here too. Let's try negative 500. And we'll make the, the scale just a little bit more workable. Let's see how this one turns out. If we get that intersection yet. Yeah, we're pretty close. I probably have to drop it down a little bit more. I could try to calculate it, but it may tell me that it's undefined because it's not actually showing up there. So let me let me just go back to the window one more time and make this negative 600. Um, I'll tell this thing to count by 100s just so it's not so jumbled up on there. And it looks like I got an intersection point down there now. So go ahead and give it a shot. So I'm going to go to count. Intersect again, curve one and curve two. I'm just going to press enter twice. And then this time, instead of, uh, well, I mean, I, I don't need to just move this over. Like, this is the way I could do this. I could also just guess. Like, I could actually type in a guess. Like, um, you know, like if I went negative six, it would, you know, move, move that direction. But unfortunately, I got, I got the wrong one. I need to guess the intersection a little bit further over. Let me try. Uh, Calc, five, first curve, second curve. Let me try uh, negative eight. Let's see if that brings us over here a little bit more. Yeah, there it is. So there's my other point at negative 9.042. So three solutions to this that we can find using the calculator. Whatever, that's how you do it. It's a way to calculate and find the intersection points where you can actually solve really any equation that you that you have to solve. So it's a it's a handy little tool. Learn how to use it. Don't pay a hundred bucks for nothing.